The best medicine is long walks in nature and even longer conversations with God. Soak up the sun, the warmth, the light. Let it penetrate every cell in your body. Nourish yourself daily. Hydrate your body. Move your body. Love your body. Choose joy in every moment. Even when you think you can't possibly choose joy right now. Play, laugh, dance, have fun, and always smile. Always. That's a must. Put your bare feet on the grass and your bare hands in the dough or the dirt or the paint. Whatever makes you happy, do more of that. It doesn't matter what it is, just do more. You can heal yourself by the way you love, by the way you show up for others, by your kindness, your compassion, the way you care. Soothe your soul by slowing down more. Take as many breaks and rests and deep breaths as you can. Slow dance with your lover or create the most epic dance party in your living room. Either way, let the world stand still while you slip away to the most epic love story to have ever existed. Rub essential oils on your feet and steep fresh herbs in your tea. Bathe yourself in long bubble baths until there is no more bubbles left in the tub and the water has run cold. Be the light when others have lost their way. Refuse to let the world dim your light. Burn your sage, wear your crystals, and read your Bible. Don't let anyone put your soul in a box and try to tell you what is or is it holy? Only you get to decide that. Seek beauty in every moment. Witness God's grace with every breath. Grieve your losses and your heartaches but don't let them harden or close your heart. Stare up at the stars as often as you can and contemplate God's perfect creation. 
And while you're at it, talk to God every chance you get. Even if it's just to say, hello, or I need you, or simply, thank you. The remedy for a crumbling system, a broken heart, a shattered soul, it's all the same. We heal by the simple ways in which we show up for ourselves and for the ones we love most in this world. It's not a big, epic event that will change our lives, but rather a series of day-to-day and moment-to-moment choices to be the medicine that you need. To be the medicine that we all need.